Hello, my name is Hannah Burney. Um, I was on The Voice, and this is a nice little interview with Telemix. Um, the Voice, I would say, is one of the weirdest and most fun things I've ever done. I mean, sometimes it definitely was hard. You had long hours, you had to make big decisions about kind of what the rest of your career was going to be like, and that was a lot of pressure. I don't think, I think any contestant was prepared for that. But at the same time, I had a lot of fun, and I feel like I learned more in six months than I did in my entire time that I've been singing. It's been like a crash course. Um, I don't have regrets. I just think I've learned a lot from a lot of it. Um, I guess um, the song I originally did in my first ever audition was a completely different kind of style, genre, feel to um, than my first televised audition. There was like quite a big difference. Um, but at the same time, I think if you don't, you know, in the really early stages, make sure that your sound, your personality, kind of you as an artist is broadcast like really strongly, then um, you can't expect people to always get you. And I think people maybe didn't get me until <laughs> the first live show, but I'm not really that. I, I don't know. I'm not trying not to dwell on it because at the same time, I feel like there are a lot more positives than negatives, so I'm really cool about it. I don't necessarily think much needs to be changed. I think the audience is just really getting used to a brand new format. Um, they're used to kind of people making fun of other people. Mm, and they're used to it being all about kind of performance, I guess. And um, yeah, as I kind of I asked as well, I was like, I would cool, it would be cool if I had a band on stage and got to, to wear the clothes I would usually wear. They, I think maybe if they let the artists actually have a, a tiny bit more input into their performance, it would make it feel a lot more individual um, so that people can really see that these are about voices and not about the product. Um, I wouldn't say that was a massive part of the show anyway. Um, I think America are bringing in original songs, well, they have original songs in the final, which is a really cool thing. And America also has... They're introducing spinning chairs in the battle rounds, which I don't know how that's going to work, but fight, 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 go for it. <laughs> Best bit of advice, I can't repeat on camera. Look at the skull boob word, isn't it? <laughs> okay, opinions are like mm, holes. Um, everybody's got one. And I thought that was quite an interesting, <laughs> an interesting thing for Danny to say. Um, and it, he said that just before we went on, kind of a way to remind us that music is like... Uh, subjective basically anyone can have any opinion and you have to remember that when you go on a television show yeah I speak to um, Becky um, Sam Buttery Francis Wood Ben Kelly um, and a couple of the others as well are still in contact with like David Junior from my team we're doing um, I think some gigs together soon so of course Adam as well so I, I, I've made a lot of lovely friends from The Voice it's been really nice Tyler used to bring us donuts he used to bring us donuts like every other day. If it wasn't cookies, it was donuts. He had a really big thing like Krispy Kreme, so they just you turn up in the studio, there'd be a load of donuts which I would eat, and <laughs> and you're like, who's got these? And Ty's like, it's me. Um, so yeah, Ty used to bring us donuts, which was really a nice surprise, but not the best thing you want when you've got a backstage. You've got a, you've got a show to do. <laughs> okay, so when I was, I think this was. The team, the team week when I did the team show, um, I was wearing this play suit, so they were fake tanning my arms, so they got everyone out of the room, and I just literally stood there in my bra and knickers, they fake tanning my arms, and they managed to stop most people coming in, and then the door like burst wide open, and Reggie H stood there, I was just like, hey Reggie, so he went and had his makeup done while I was stood there just like, bra and knickers, da -da 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 -da, chatting away about the show, um, so... Yeah, I tried to keep that quiet, but now you all know. Um, right now, it's just about originals. Um, so all my own material um, is currently being kind of demoed, produced. Um, I'm in songwriting sessions, I'd say, five five days a week. If not, I'm in someone's studio sorting stuff out. Um, so Giggy is kind of taking a backseat. So aside from that, it's really just focusing, just focusing on getting my own stuff sorted. However, I do have two really lovely gigs coming up. Um, one on the 26th of July in Cardiff, which is headline gig with tickets. Um, really excited about it, like coming home and stuff and gigging for everyone. Um, and also another one on the 8th of September um, in Abergavenny, also in Wales. <laughs> but it's with um, Titchy Strider, Skepta and some other people. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. 
I just live shows are where I really enjoy myself. I think um, the voice was such a weird experience because I'm used to gigging on stage and feeling really confident, and the voice really challenged me. I had to really. It took me a while to get into my stride, so I'm, I'm so excited about being back in the kind of performance side of things. Um, yesterday I was in the studio with uh, Steve Bush of Bush and Bird, and they did uh, all of the Stereophonics albums. And they also did some of the Corin Bailey Ray stuff from her first album. Who else have I been in the studio with? Oh, a really cool guy called Ron Rogers, um, who was into Pow, which is an old 80s band. And they had like two really massive hits. Um, and he literally lives really locally to me. Um, and I've known him for a couple of years, so he's doing some stuff with me. Um, and also, I'm down with the team in London, um, which is really cool. So in no way, shape or form am I going to compare myself to Etta or Amy or Beyonce or any of those lot, but um, it's kind of like, I'd say it's pop soul um, with a little bit of, kind of Jason Mraz and all my kind of 90s influences as well, so yeah. Is Danny coming to my gig? Um, well, it would be cool to see him there because I'm doing some original material um, and hopefully he'll be coming. We've sent out invites to quite a lot of people um, from the show and, and friends as well, so fingers crossed. The first thing I could sing when I was, um, I'd say about nine or ten. Before that I just used to mess around. Um, when I was nine or ten I used to uh, perform Disney songs to my family, embarrassingly enough. Um, yeah. And then I was in a school play and I got um, a solo. And that was a loving life. So yeah, that was pretty much it. Um, my music idol is hands down Beyonce. I'm gonna say it. My girl can sing! Um, you can win tickets to see me in Cardiff on the 26th of July at the Globe and you can do this by logging on to www.telemix.co.uk forward slash win.